most animal lovers pride themselves on being able to identify every cute species under the sun. However, it's not always as easy as being able to tell the difference between dogs and cats. When an injured critter was rescued from a backyard last September, even the biggest animal experts wouldn't be able to tell what it was at first. It was hard to believe it was an animal at all. It mostly resembled a fleshy gray ball than anything else. Lynn Garner of England was working in her garden one day when she made a strange discovery. There, hidden in the grass, was a small fleshy lump. She was nervous to approach it at first. She wasn't sure if it was dangerous. She knew it was an animal, but she wasn't sure what kind. She wasn't even sure if it was still alive. And if it was, she didn't want to risk scaring it or doing something that might cause it or her to become injured. Lynn got down on her hands and knees to investigate. She eventually deduced what it was at last, a juvenile hedgehog, and it had to be just a couple of months old at best. She had no idea how he wound up all by himself in the first place. The youngster was all alone, and he had a wound on his back from where a bird had likely attacked him. Hedgehogs like this little guy rely on their spines to help protect them from predators, but he was strangely missing most of his spines. Lynn was stunned. What could have caused Derek, as she had taken to calling him, to lose almost all of his spines like this? At first glance, she thought it must have been due to mange or another infection. Lynn was concerned that a recent attack or form of abuse might be to blame. There was only one way to be sure. She had to get him to the veterinarian's office, and quickly, before his condition became worse. Once the veterinarian examined the poor thing, they determined that he was actually suffering from alopecia caused by stress. Most likely, he was attacked by a bird or another animal, which then caused him to stress out so much that he lost his spines. Lynn wasn't surprised to learn that a predator had been responsible, albeit indirectly, for the attack that left Derek shedding spines at such a rapid rate. She only hoped that there was some way she could restore him to good health. But how? Lynn was happy to obey the doctor's orders. As an animal lover herself, she was eager to help get this poor, stressed hedgehog back in tip-top shape. This included daily weigh-ins to make sure the hedgie was eating the right amount of food. Lynn didn't mind having to tend to his special needs, either. She knew that he had already mentioned more than other hedgehogs twice his age, and she wanted to give him a fighting chance at survival. While it may have sounded like some sort of fancy spa treatment, these oil massages were a regular technique used to treat hedgehogs who experienced similar injuries. This would help to stimulate spine growth in even the most severe cases. In addition to his heated room and oil treatments, Lynn also fed Derek a daily dose of probiotics to help improve his digestive health and his overall sense of well-being. A diet rich in probiotics can transform even the baldest hedgehog into a spine-covered beauty. Over time, with all of these careful ministrations and special medical techniques prescribed by the vet in charge, things started to change for Derek. At first, it was hard to tell that something was happening. But then, all of Lynn's care was really starting to pay off. With her careful nurturing, the young hedgehog's spines started to grow back in full force. He was starting to look like a real hedgehog again. Usually, alopecia, like Derek's, isn't completely reversible. Some hedgehogs can see some spine growth, but nothing at this level. That made his amazing recovery all the more dramatic and miraculous. Thanks to Lynn's help, Derek the Hedgehog was on track to make a full recovery. He might have started his life in the wild all alone, but because of Lynn, he never had to worry about being abandoned or attacked again. Though his injuries would keep him from ever returning to the wild, Derek was in good hands with Lynn. With her by his side, he'll continue to live a charmed life. What a lucky little hedgehog. If he could speak, he would definitely agree. Not too far from Derek and Lynn, a caretaker at the University of Sheffield in England walked into the campus kitchen and immediately noticed some sort of odd-looking creature scurrying toward him. Yikes. Was it a mouse? A rat? The little guy was brought to the Cawthorn Hedgehog Sanctuary in South Yorkshire, where he was put in the care of Anita and Alan Broadhead. After naming him Frankie, they tried to determine the extent of his abuse. Frankie was undoubtedly scarred from his experience, and he refused to uncurl from his protective ball. Not only that, but he suffered from ringworm. 
While the university investigated the incident, Anita had a message for the perpetrators. Though Frankie's abusers had yet to be found, hopefully they saw Anita's powerful message and didn't harm any other animals. Thankfully, Frankie was finally safe from the cruel people who did this to him, and things could only look up for him from here. Still, the poor hedgehog would have to spend some time recovering before he could be returned back into the wild. His spikes would take some time to grow back. It should be noted that, unlike a porcupine's quills, it's much more challenging for a hedgehog to regrow their spikes. Luckily, Frankie was in good hands while he recovered. Despite the terrible abuse that had been done to him, he must have been relieved to be taken care of by people who genuinely cared about his well-being. It should also be noted that hedgehogs are rather harmless to humans. In fact, as this story certainly shows, we're more dangerous to them as they are to us. For example, many wild hedgehogs are accidentally run over by speeding cars. While hedgehogs may not be popular as pets, after all, you can't really pet them, they can still be absolutely adorable. Who would ever want to hurt a creature with that precious little face? Another sweet little hedgehog named Nelson is also completely bald. Because of this, a lot of people have trouble telling what sort of animal he is. No matter who you are, chances are you would have had a hard time identifying him, at least right away. Without his signature look, he has no real way of making sure people know what he is. Thankfully for Nelson, he has enough personality to compensate for the lack of his species-defining characteristic. But what is he? Nelson is a hedgehog. Only, no one knows when or why he lost his spikes. He's a mystery, but to have survived into adulthood he must have had prickles and his health is very good, other than the fact he is bald, said a member of Foxy Lodge Wildlife Rescue, the England-based group that has been caring for Nelson. There's so much to love about him. Nelson is perfectly happy to stay in the sanctuary, though. There, he's practically treated like royalty. Can you imagine getting this kind of treatment every single day of the week? You don't have to be bald to appreciate this. Nelson gets a real spa treatment, including regular oil massages. They aren't just providing him with these services because he loves them, although he does. The oil and the massages help keep his skin healthy. We will likely never know what caused him to lose his hair and spikes, said the staff at Foxy Lodge Animal Rescue, and as far as the organization is concerned, that's just fine. His baldness is part of what makes him so extra adorable. Because Nelson lives inside of the rescue itself, he is not able to go out and forage and hunt for his food as he would in the wild, but as far as he's concerned, that's just fine. Every day, Nelson is provided with the finest mealworms that money can buy. Between the endless meals and daily massages, Nelson is certainly living the good life. While the world could prove to be very dangerous for him outside of the rescue, inside, he lives like a true king. Look at that face. He's totally content. Nelson's story is exceptional for a number of reasons, but it also teaches us something pretty important. Just because you're born looking different from other people, that doesn't mean you don't deserve a life complete with massages. It's hard to believe that a hedgehog could be cuddly, but that's what makes Nelson so special. Everyone who sees him can't help but want to pick him up and give him a little squeeze. Can you say that about any other hedgehogs? <laughs>